But be sure of this. Drag is no friend of your family. I've never been a fan of the phrase family friendly. How does a man dressed like an oversex woman know anything about entertainment that is friendly for your family? Drag performers have been using this term for quite some time, thinking that the general population would give favor to the entertainment while they use it as cover of wickedness. This is how organizations get city councils to allow their events in public places where common sense and law would otherwise forbid it. Notice here how the wicked acts of darkness want to look innocent and friendly to your family when in reality they hate everything good God created in the family. The private sector should be afforded the liberty to ruin its business if it wants. There will be some patrons who will support some businesses no matter what. In a free market, that's the way it is. Recently, someone sent me an invitation of an event happening at a local eatery known for hosting quote-unquote family-friendly drag events. As this business is at liberty to host such events, it is also an exercise of liberty when the people notice and not spend their money in such places. Sidebar, I've been to this eatery twice since it opened on Main Street in Twin Falls, once to meet with the Sherpa of the United Methodist Church who promotes drag events, and with another Methodist friend, and do you see a pattern here, who wanted to talk to me about why I don't love like he loves. I have no issue with the quality of the service or the deliciousness of the food. My issue is not in the temporal. My interest is in the eternal. You see, in both situations, I asked them if they would be willing to meet, and I let them choose the location. Do you, do you see this pattern as well? I was pleased to do so and would be willing to again. But one has moved, and the other has refused to meet with me anymore for some reason. If being entertained like this at a local eatery is what one wants to do, then one should do so. My issue is not that they should or they shouldn't. My issue is that if they don't know they are disobeying God, then someone in this community should love them enough to let them know that this, is, that this does not and cannot glorify God. If they know this and do so anyway, then the community needs to have someone help inform them that such events are not family friendly, period. Notice the unintended or maybe fully intended day and time. You see, when churches in the city will mostly be gathering to worship God, the drag brunch will be holding their service on a Sunday at 11 a.m. Will churches in the valley cancel their services and conduct a joint service with this family-friendly gathering? Well, of course they can hold their church service on a Sunday at 11 a.m., but do you see what's going on here? I do. I'm going to spend the money God provides me with at other places. Is all ages the new family friendly? I see what you're doing here.